Hello, today we're gonna try out James Turner's random build challenge. Ooh, so let's go, shall we? We freaking shall. So this is James Turner's website. There he is. And he has a Sims 4 random challenge generator on his side. Who would have thunk it? And for this challenge, you get a little list of things that you need to include in your build, such as what type of house it is, how many floors it has, the size of the lot, who the owner of this house is, and what they love and what they're afraid of, and a thing they must have, the budget, and an optional you can include in the build you don't have to but you can if you want to that's what optional means all right <laughs> so i'm gonna press the generator button three times and whatever we get on that third try i have to do i have to do it no exceptions so let's press that button. Let's press it. One, two, three. Oh, mama. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so I have to build a tree house. Whatever that means. A tree house. Why couldn't I get an apartment or something? A tree house? Oh my gosh. Okay, it must have two floors. That's okay. Build on a 20 by 15 size lot. Oh, Jesus. Your owners are newlyweds. Newlyweds. They have newly been wed. They love maximalism and cooking. All right. They're afraid of visitors and rooms larger than three by four they're afraid of visitors what does that even mean <laughs> i am flabbergasted what they must have their home theater well that's gonna be great in a three by four room your budget is seventy four thousand six hundred ninety three symbolians that's reasonable optionally try adding an extra floor right I was just thinking of having a nap instead. I don't know if I'm gonna do this. <laughs> and now my EA app won't open. Well, that's that's perfect, isn't it? Connecting to the EA app. Yeah, you better be. Are you connecting or background service crashed? Oh my gosh, come on. I just wanna build my tree house. Okay, I guess I gotta restart my computer. Jesus Lord. Welcome back. The EA app is now working. It only took an hour. Oh, dear Lord. Now, I did have to restart my computer and all that. So that means that I sadly lost the challenge. But what we do have, what, <laughs> what survived in the fire, is this one. Because that's actually a website link. So, so so we have that. That's all that we have left. <laughs> Any hoozles. So I found a 20 by 15 lot. We're in Moonwood Mill. It's kind of dark and foggy here, but that'll do. That'll do. So we have to build a tree house. Oh, shoot. I need to have a person. Darn it. <laughs> all right. I have me person now. And I'm going to set my money to 74693. Yes. So three floors. And as a tree house. So how do you make this a tree house? A tree, tree house? Right. If I just make a little box, then to make another little box and if i just put a tree in there <laughs> no well that's not gonna work what if i get one of those tree stumps these ones if i put a tree stump under the room and then i just go Ta -ta. i mean nobody would <laughs> suspect a thing <laughs> i have no words i mean if we just have some sort of <laughs> If we just have some sort of tree on the top, like so, then we just have a little tree stump sticking out here. You know, something of the sort. It's starting to look like a little tree house. I think I can do that. Yeah. Now, I do want this tree house to be a little bit funky, a little bit weird, because you had to be absolutely bonkers to live in a tree house. I'm just saying it right now. Okay, I got a little bit of a shape for the house. It's wonky. That it is. It's wonky. But I was thinking of having a little tree popping out here, a little tree stump. And for that, I was thinking, of using this little rabbit home if you size it up and then we get another one and i think hold on i get my tool mod then i rotate it yeah <laughs> if we just look far far away from it it does kind of look like a tree is poking out yeah i am pleased with that how does it look from the inside oh la la they <laughs> They're just gonna have to live with that, okay? This is a rabbit's home. Does that mean that a rabbit is gonna come out of there? They're gonna love it. Don't you worry, they're gonna love it. Oh, yeah, because now I have to roof this thing. I did not think about that. I did not think about the roofing. Oh, my God. Let's start with a gable roof. Where am I gonna put it? What if I... Oh, no. What if I put it like so? I have another roof right there. And, oh, Jesus galore. What am I gonna do here? Interesting. Very much interesting. What if this is some type of porch? It goes like so, maybe? So I don't have to roof that. How does that look? Yeah, that looks fine. What are we gonna have here? Oh, what about a half gabled roof? That's always fun. Oh, yikes. Oh, oh, gang. What have I done to myself? What if we have a hip roof here? Then I just extend it like so. And then we can have something there. Then something there. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Where is the entrance gonna be? This is a question. Because it says that they're afraid of visitors. So maybe the entrance shouldn't be at the front, but rather at the back. So the visitors can't see whether they're gonna go into the house you know 
Maybe that's something. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. So that can be the entrance. And then we have a set of stairs here. I do something like that. And then I have one of these that kind of goes... Oh, but Jeepers, what have I done now? Oh, and I extend it like so. And then it goes out. And then we can have some funky, funky things up in there. Yeah. And then we just have a door there and some fencing. I think that could be fun. I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> this house, I... Oh, no. I have to fix this roof. Right. Well, maybe the roof will look better if we put on some fancy, fancy roof tiles. What about the one from werewolves? Could that be good? Oh, that's funky. Look at that. And then we get in some wood wallpaper. Maybe the one from horse ranch. Oh, I like that. Yeah, this is starting to look so cool, actually. I kind of like it. I do. Okay, so let's start with placing some windows. What type of windows do I want? So we have these windows that I kind of like, but this window doesn't have any glass in it. And that always gives me the creeps. Because what sort of window is that? Just an open hole. But we have these sort of windows. I mean, the windows do have this sort of brick thingy, dingy on the bottom. And this is a wooden house. I mean, it's literally a tree house. You can't see it right now, but it's there. So would it be weird to have stones on the bottom of the windows? Nah, I think it'll be fine. Just don't look at it and it will be fine. Oh, shoot. I gotta really look after my money too. I'm just spending money all willy-nilly over here. I mean, it's starting to come along. It's starting to. It's starting to. It still looks kind of wonky. But we shall hide it <laughs> with some detailing. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Before I start decorating and stuff and go completely off the rails i need to do the layout of this house because if i figure out that this layout doesn't work then i'm screwed okay so if i have a little look at our list it says that they're afraid of rooms larger than three by four so our rooms cannot be larger than three by four so that's gonna be fun 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 okay so there's the front door i'm gonna change that front door real quick so i don't forget oh that door doesn't fit oh that's sad wait hold on bring the list back up nora bring it on there also afraid of visitors. So maybe I should have a door that signals no visitors. We are afraid. And what would that be like in a door? This? I mean, it doesn't fit. That really doesn't fit the vibe, does it? No. Why am I looking at doors that obviously does not fit? <laughs> Why? Well, you know what? They're just gonna get that door because it matches with the other green colors. <laughs> Why not? Like that. Problem fixed. Problem el fixo. Okay, let's start with the layout for real this time. So this is a 3x3. Three three. No, that's a 2x3. I don't no math anymore. That can be the little hallway. Very good. And oh, I need a place to put the stairs. And we can put in ladders in builds. But ladders are my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh no. Well, now the stairs are in the middle of the room. Oh, this was harder than I thought. What if I put, I put, please let me put. Why not? Ah, it doesn't fit anywhere. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna break my own rule. I'm gonna have some ladders. If you ever wanna download this build and play it in yourself, I don't know why you would, but if you <laughs> would and you hate ladders as much as I do, you can just replace it with stairs. It's okay. You, you'll you find a way. You'll find a way. Okay, so maybe the kitchen can be around here. Yeah, that can be the kitchen. And then, oh no, what do I do here? Because I have this little bump. I have this little bump. Oh, this is gonna be such a weird house. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> what have I done? I'm just gonna put in some random furniture so I just remember what the room is gonna be so I don't forget. So that's the kitchen. And then this can be the bathroom. And I was thinking that this little room can be the toilet room that's connected to the bathroom. It's a room, so yeah. But I was thinking they are newlyweds, so there's only two people in this house. And they're afraid of visitors, so they only need a small table because they're never gonna have anybody else. <laughs> in this in this little tree house. They're never gonna have anybody else here. So they can have that small little dining room. And if you have a little look at our list, they love cooking. So I thought that this room could be a little pantry for them. Since they have such a small kitchen, they can have a pantry. Yeah. Alrighty. What can this room be? Good question. What can this be? A sm... I don't know. That's gonna be another hallway. They love hallways. Oh my god, this room is a nightmare. Okay, I've tried dividing up the rooms. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be horrible. Not from the future era. Now, I can see, I can see that the room to the left, that room, is technically six by something. I'm really bad at geometry, I don't know. Six by two, in theory. I can see that, and I know that the rule was no rooms larger than three by four. And I'm gonna fix it later, okay? Don't you worry, I'm gonna fix it later. So, this 
this is going to be the bedroom. Mm -hmm. That it is indeed. And then some sort of closet. I don't know. A bathroom and then something and a hallway. Beautiful. All right, so the third floor. I see, I see. We do indeed need a home theater. So where can we put that? Maybe here? Three by four. Yeah, that can be the home theater. The home theater. And that's the living room. And then this can be some sort of bathroom maybe. And a hallway. I don't know. Another hallway. <laughs> to the little terrace outside. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, right. My gosh. I need to put a tree on the top. How could I forget? What can we put on there? Well, I need a tree that has a lot of tree trunk to give. And where are thou? What about that? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Does it make sense to have a tree on the top of the tree house? All right. So they're either like around it, like so, or they're like literally in the middle of the house. I see, I see. So that wouldn't make sense. Do we have any bendy trees? Ah, uh, bendy trees. Where are thou? I mean, no, no, maybe. Maybe, maybe that can work. <laughs> maybe. I don't even know. But what I do know is that this house needs a little bit of support. That it does. Because this room is completely floating in the air. How are they supporting it? I don't know. But we can put in some corbels. Now it seems supported. Supported enough. And I'm thinking this side doesn't need any support because it's supported by a little tree stump. It's doing a great job. Right. And I do also want the underside to have some color. Oh, I'm using so much money. But I need to do it. I need it. Doesn't that look a lot nicer. Yeah. Okay, before I do anything else to the exterior, I need to furnish this house because I keep forgetting that I have a budget and I <laughs> and I don't want to lose all my money. So let's do the furnishing first. So on a little list, it says that they love maximalism. I am not really sure what maximalism means. Like I know kind of what it means, but I don't actually know what it means. So maybe I should look that up before I do something completely wrong. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm looking over here all the time, it's because I now have two screens. Oh, Nora is rolling in money now. And the new screen I got was my dad's old computer screen. So I'm going up in the world. I am. <laughs> okay, so key maximalism characteristics. Patterns and colors. Joy. I don't know how to incorporate joy into interior design. Interesting. That was all the key characteristics. Patterns and colors and joy. All right. I see. Interesting. Is this maximalism? I mean, it's very cool, but is, is that maximalism? Because I feel like this and this is two very different things, you know? Oh, <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I see. Okay, I think I got a taste of what maximalism is. Please don't be mad at me if I get it completely wrong because I have never dealt with maximalism before. But yeah, bright colors, patterns, joy. Let's go. I don't know where the hand movement came from. I've never done that in my entire life and I will never do it again. <laughs> what if we have a pink and blue kitchen? What about that? Or do we want that blue? That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. That blue one. I do. I'm going to push the pantry a little bit back like so. Just get a little bit more space. <clears throat> Nora from the future again. I can see what I did here. I see that I made the kitchen larger when I was not supposed to make anything larger. Again, I'm gonna fix that later, okay? Obviously, I do not know how to count tiles. I really do not know how. Oh, I am disappointed in myself. I'm gonna fix that later. I promise I'm gonna fix that. I mean, I do think we have some sort of kitchen going on here. I indeed believe I do. All right, I'm just gonna put in essential furniture in all the rooms first, just so I don't go over budget, all right? Just so I don't go over budget. That is el importante. Oh, that's a fun table and then the maximalist bathroom what is that i don't even know you can have the elephants happy with that choice and then a sink i mean we can get the matching sink is this the matching sink no it's not what about this one that also matches i'm gonna go for that right and upstairs oh blah, 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 blah. i forgot how horrible it was up here i forgot what about this bed for the bedroom because it's made of wicker which is wooden like but also maximalist -ish -ish -ish. i'm really reaching with that one. Oh, i mean the colors come Kinda matches the flowers on the tree. Kinda. I think I'm gonna go for that. Ah, this isn't really a style that I personally am a big fan of. So I don't know. I just don't know. Well, there's not much else we can fit in here. Well, we can get some little nightstands though that we can get for them. But those are kind of cool. I'm never used. Oh, I can't size them down. Well, and bye. Oh, that's kind of cool. Or is that too much? Maybe we should have some suitcases instead. Since they are newlyweds. No, I mean they are newlyweds, but they still got some taste. What about this? Ah, oh, taste. Maybe I'm gonna go with that. We can have. <gasps> Yeah, they can have their own color. One has pink and one has blue. Ooh, there you go. And you can fight amongst yourself for who gets who. Well, 
up to the closet we go. Oh, what if I just have this? Oh, no. Oh, oh, wait, you know what? You freaking know what? This can be an office, not a closet. What am I on about? Because this is perfect for bookshelves, you know? Now we can just have a desk in the middle. Oh, I'm gonna do that. Now, I do really like this <laughs> desk <laughs> or this one, but I don't really want him to block the window, you know? I spent so much time on those windows, not really, but I feel like this house is gonna have so many mismatching furniture pieces and sets and colors and all that. Like, nothing matches <laughs> with each other. <laughs> but you know, that kind of makes sense with being a newly bad couple. I mean, they're probably still young-ish, hopefully not too young, and they have no money. And they have been thrifting, they have been hitting up them flea markets, and here we are. But one thing they have going on for them is that they're color coordinating their books that they indeed have. Hello? Why can't this be on top of that bookshelf? I, what's going on? My goodness. Connect! <laughs> oh my gosh. I swear, they're not connecting to each other. Oh, you can- Ah! There we go. This is not good for my sanity at all. Alright, what if we have a bathroom here? Then I turn this into something. Right, what if I push this room? Oh no. What if I go like so? And then the closet can be in here. What about that? <laughs> Thank you. She said with a question mark. Was it funky or was it not? And then they can hang their clothes up on there. It's kind of annoying that they're clipping through the wall. But I can't do anything about it. Oh, for goodness sake. I wasn't recording. Anyways, <laughs> I don't even care anymore. This is the bathroom that I started decorating a little bit. I did this little sink trick that I saw on Instagram the other day. Not this exact version, but something like that. And I got inspired and I did it. And I did the same... Ah, don't touch anything, Nora. All right. And then I just did the same mirror trick as I did in my last build. Did I? Yes, I did. Let's move upstairs. So, whoa. <laughs> it's looking beautiful up here. Right. Let's look at our little list again. So we must have a home theater. A home theater. If I size this down, that's gonna look horrible. What if I just have it this way? Oh, no, that's gonna look so bad. I had to Google this. Small home theater. I don't know what I was expecting. This is exactly what I had in my mind. Why did I Google this? I got absolutely nothing out of that. What if I just get these chairs? Wait, hold on. It makes no sense that they would have four chairs, though. Because they are two people who don't want visitors. They're scared of them. So maybe we can have it like this. If we just size it down like so. I mean, oofly doof, that's gonna be something. That's the home theater room. There you go. Hope you enjoyed that. What was this gonna be? This was gonna be the living room. Oh, we have these. We can use that one. What if you have a little fireplace? Would that make things better? Would it? Oh my gosh. There's doors everywhere. I don't know where to put stuff. Okay, what if the door to the home theater is here? And then we can have this space for a couch, maybe? Then some sort of chair there. Yeah, maybe something like that. Okay, back to a bathroom. What if we have this toilet? I so want to use that toilet because when else am I gonna use that toilet, you know? <laughs> when else? All right, do we have any blue sinks? That matches. I mean, not really, but what could you expect? Do we have any orange counters? I mean, not really. What about the normal thing? Any blue ones? No. Well, that was disappointing. That blue kind of matches. What am I gonna do with that? Tell me. What? <laughs> oh, wait. What about this one? Then I put a sink in it, like so. And if I size this down, what? I can't size it down. That's insanity. What about two mud? Oh, I can. Well, then, what if I go like so? And then I size it down. Oh, that works. Scratch what I said. It doesn't work. I guess I'm gonna have to use this one. Or I could use that. And yeah, that could be cool. Uh, maybe. I mean, we do have all the essential furniture that we need right now. That we do have. Like, everything else is just extra furniture. I mean, I am gonna put in more furniture, okay? <laughs> yeah, I am. So I think I'm gonna take a little break from the inside and start working on the outside. Oh la la. Now, we have to keep in mind that they're afraid of visitors. We have to keep that in mind. So I think since they do not want any visitors, we should make it like a little bit overgrown, I feel like. So it kind of looks like nobody lives there. Journal? Maybe that could be a good idea. So I think I'm first gonna start up with putting in some plants and make it a little bit of the ground. I mean, we also do need a little pathway. That we do need. The pathway can go from here and not like that. Oh, maybe we should have some sort of like keep out sign. <laughs> like that. That's kind of cool. What kind of sign is that? No hiding in bushes? Peepers be gone. Okay. We're gonna have those signs too. I think maybe to create some more ambiance, we should get a little broken down fence maybe? Because they are afraid of visitors, so they need a fence to keep people out. But they don't want people to know that they live there, you know? So a broken down fence fits perfectly. I'm putting up my fence everywhere I go. I am putting it up there. Maybe if you do something like that. Oh, and then we indeed do need a little trash bin and a mailbox. Now, normally I would just put it out here, but since they don't want, they don't want people to know that they live here, I should have it in the back. Yes. And then I'm just gonna put some more plants just sticking around in here. Ooh, we should have some plants on the house as well. That we should do. That could be kind of cool. Yes, 
planting them all around all around we go oh what about these potted plants oh those are cute 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 where can i have that i don't know where can i have that someone tell me here no all right i'm gonna get back to furnishing the house because i realize now that i have a lot left to do so this room what are we gonna have in here what is this supposed to be what if they just have this random chair in the corner that's very much maximalist yes then what about a carpet that's a cute carpet i say i said delete it i mean i don't know anymore what about this one? Oh, that fits with the chair the hallway chair uh it looks kind of ugly in here <laughs> not gonna lie this house man oh man this house what about the curtains what's the curtain situation up in here should we use these uh, i don't know i don't think i can make myself use these curtains and we've learned that one of the key notes in maximalism was joy and i'm not feeling that much joy right now i am not what they don't have one normal swatch in this not a single one what a useless curtain do they need curtains <laughs> do they need them i don't oh i'm not gonna do the curtains so i'm gonna move on to something else that made me sad oh this room all right this was gonna be the pantry i can have a little <laughs> barrel i don't know right so on these shelves i could have some food stuff like you normally have gonna size that down food stuff i mean there's not really that much actual food stuff in here is there you can have these pretend they're not dog biscuits place them right there okay so in this hallway there's not much space because i think the sim has to go out on this side so we have one tile to <laughs> furnace furnace furnish but I give up. I can have this one. Oh, I like that. You can have some diplomas. Wait, maybe I can take this one and just pop on another one like that. I need a picture to squeeze in here and here. What about him? He's creepy. He can stay. Now I need another tiny little picture. Not that tiny. Can that squeeze? Maybe. That's close enough. Right, so in the office, maybe they should have a little computer. <gasps> they can get this one. I love that one. There you go. And then they can get a little desk light. Maybe. Maybe. Get that. That's cute. All right, so for the kitchen, what do I want here? Yeah. For the flooring, I was thinking maybe something like this. I don't know if that works. I really don't know. I mean, it looks like it's too much, but it's supposed to be a little bit too much. I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, I might may. Mm, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick little speed building of the decorations. Because again, this video would be one hour long. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed that. Are you enjoying it? No? Okay. So, you know, my last build that I did, the base game one, am I showing it on the screen? I don't know. <laughs> that build. Now, a lot of you guys said that that house looked like the house from Coraline. And that wasn't the inspiration for the house. But it totally looks like it i don't know how i didn't see it before somebody said that it looked like the house from Coraline. i don't know but i can see it now it looks like that house now the funny thing is that the Coraline movie traumatized me so much as a little kid i mean so much that till this day i cannot watch the Coraline movie because i know it really traumatized me <laughs> which is so weird because i love scary movies and i don't think that Coraline is classified as a scary movie i mean i got traumatized so maybe it is but it isn't like a horror flick you know it's a kids movie and i enjoy watching real scary movies now but i still cannot watch the Coraline movie no i mean when that movie was on netflix for a short while in norway i didn't use netflix <laughs> Because each time I would open my Netflix and see the Coraline movie, all those memories came back to me, okay? So I had to, I had to, I couldn't use my Netflix because I was just scared from the picture of the movie. So maybe making that house was some sort of therapy for me or the opposite. I don't know. I really don't know. What else can I say? I know that some of you want me to make my actual house in The Sims because my house is kind of weird. But believe me, I have tried so many times to make my house in The Sims and it doesn't work. It physically isn't possible to make my house in the sims sadly but maybe in the future if sims does a whole refresh of the game implementing new stuff maybe i can make my house um but we shan't see but yeah if you didn't know this house is really weird and to make it even more weirder we now have a bat living in the attic which is an improvement actually because before there was a wasp nest living in the attic so i guess that's better you know oh no i think the creepiest thing about this house you know in um what's that series called have you guys ever watched the the watcher series that's based on the true story allegedly <laughs> anyway but in that show, they find out that they have a tunnel in their basement that leads... I don't know where it led. Maybe the neighbor's house. I don't remember. Anyways, they had a tunnel in the basement. This house has one of those tunnels. But it doesn't have one. It doesn't have two. It doesn't have three. It doesn't have four. It has five crawl spaces with tunnels, which is amazing. I mean, they're boarded up now, but that doesn't make it any less creepier. <laughs> 
right i know that i don't have my camera on right now but i just wanted to let you know that i'm almost running out of money i have 41 simoleons left so i now have to go around the house and see what i can get rid of so if you're wondering why i'm deleting stuff and getting a new thingy thing is that's the reason that's why uh, i'll shall get back to the speed building now thank you we have five of those i know that two of them leads to the neighbors but the three other crawl spaces i have no idea where they lead to and no i haven't tried crawling in them that i have not you can't like stand upright in them you have to actually crawl but you know they're, they're boarded up now but they, they weren't boarded up before and if you're asking yourself nora doesn't that mean that the neighbors can crawl through that crawl space and get into your house yes yes they can and somebody has but that was before i was born thankfully and the neighbors who did that doesn't live here anymore and the most important part they crawled through the basement and the basement didn't have stairs at that time <laughs> So they couldn't really get anywhere. I mean, thankfully, yeah. And if you're also asking yourself, Nora, why does the house have five crawl spaces? I have no idea. This is a really old house and it's definitely haunted. That it is. That, that, uh, yeah. Well, that was traumatizing. Let's go back to the building, shall we? Oh, we shall. Well, hello, hello. This is Nora from the future. Now, this is normally the time where I would show you the decorations I did and blah, 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 blah. But instead, I am here to fix my mistakes, all right? I am here to fix them. So this room, six by something. So I I think if I just put a wall up here. <gasps> Why did that delete stuff? Oh shoot. Okay, what if I put on me deletion protection and then I put a wall here and that gave me money. Pourquoi? And then I put in a little archway. That bookshelf is probably unusable now, but this whole house is unusable to be honest. So I don't think that's a problem. And then we can do the exact same thing on the other side. Right, there we go. I fixed it. I earned a lot of money from that, but I'm going to fix that too later, don't you? worry and now for the kitchen i have to fix this too let's just bring all my stuff over here right so if i just get a new wall here put my door in put up the wallpaper and what am i gonna do now very much interesting well i can put me trash bin in there and the broom that i have to fix right it, it's fixed now oh wow really proud of myself all right so i think i'm done with the house i do think i'm done so um let's do the little checklist to check things off build a tree house that we indeed did must have two floors that we did build on a 20 by 15 size lot that we did your owners are newlyweds i mean we we did that <laughs> they love maximalism and cooking i mean yeah we, we did that one i feel yeah they're afraid of visitors i mean yeah they are afraid of visitors who knows that's up for debate and they're afraid of rooms larger than three by four sadly we did that one too must have their home theater we have that too <laughs> and your budget is seventy four thousand six hundred and ninety three simoleons did that as well and optionally try adding an extra floor oh we did that we did that right all right it's now time for a lift little house tour strap yourselves in because it's starting now or it has started i think what can i talk about now i went on duolingo yesterday great start to the conversation nora i went on duolingo yesterday as one might do and instead of choosing a language that i don't really know anything about to you know improve my my brain power my knowledge i instead chose to learn norwegian because i wanted a little confidence boost you know i wanted some confidence okay i needed it and i took one of the expert exams to feel some accomplishments in my life um but what happened instead was that um i failed <laughs> because it's impossible it's actually impossible i mean whenever that duolingo person starts talking i cannot hear a frick frack thing because the what is it called the tone of voice the emphasis on the words whatever that is called they're totally wrong it's so weird and so wrong that i can't hear anything like at one point that freaking duolingo lady said barna i know she said barna and barna means the children plural <laughs> and barna barna means the child single so barna barna <laughs> barna barna and that lady I I know for a fact that she said Barna. So I typed in the children, but apparently she said Barna, the child. So I, I failed that one, but I listened to it over and over and over again. And she said Barna, not Barna. So me and Duolingo now are enemies, right? Oh, maybe I should talk about the building. Uh, I love this building. I think it's great. It's whimsical. Ah, uh, you know what? I like the outside <laughs> of the building. <laughs> I am not really sure about the inside because it's not really my style at all. I feel like it's kind of too messy for me, but that was a challenge. So yeah, I'm not sure about the inside and I'm sorry about that, but I like the outside. I like the concept of it. I don't really know if the furniture is functional that I have to play test. I'm probably going to forget about that though, but maybe I will. Who knows? Yeah. This was a fun little challenge and I made it so difficult for myself for no reason at all. All right. That was it for this time. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed this video. I did. <laughs> don't forget to like subscribe because it really does help me out. So thank you, but only if you want to, only if you want to. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.